students. We have seen in our previous video that both acids and bases are electrolytes in their aqueous solution. Students, you know, for any solution to be able to conduct electricity, the solution should form ions. Let us see one by one whether acid and bases produce ions in their aqueous solution only. Take about 1 gram solid and a seal in a clean and dry test tube and hold it with pair of tongs. Now add some concentrated sulfuric acid in the test tube and connect the delivery tube with it. What do you observe? Is there some gas coming out of the delivery tube? Yes. Which is this gas? For this, let's write chemical equation of this reaction. NaCl plus H2SO4 gives Na2SO4 plus HCl. From this equation, we can say that the gas which has been released is hydrogen chloride which is acidic. Let's test it with dry litmus paper first. Do you observe any color change of paper? No, there is no color change in paper. Now wet the litmus paper with some distilled water and put it over the gas fumes. Is there any color change of litmus paper now? Yes, this time blue litmus paper turns red which is a characteristic of acids. Students think that here we tested with the same gas both the time. Then why in first case we did not observe any change in color and second time we did. It is because litmus paper was dry in first case while in second case litmus paper was wet. That is in presence of water HCl dissociated into H plus ions and Cl minus ions. Students as you already know that dissociated H plus ions in their aqueous solution are responsible for acidic property of acids and changes blue litmus paper to red. Thus we can say that when acids are dissolved in water, they dissociate into ions or aqueous solution of acids produce H plus and respective negative ions while dry powder will not. Now let us see what happens when a base is dissolved in water. Similar experiments can be conducted with bases also. For example, take powder of sodium hydroxide and test it with dry litmus paper. Again, take wet litmus paper and test it. We find same results like in case of acids. We find that color of wet litmus paper will change but not dry litmus paper. When we dissolve sodium hydroxide in water, it produces positive ion that is sodium ion and negative ion that is hydroxide ion. Thus, we can say that bases generate hydroxide ions only in aqueous solution and not in dry state. Students, now we know that whenever any acid or base is added to water, their ions get separated from each other. This process of separation of ions in water is known as dissociation. Students, this property of dissociation is very important because it tells us how much strong an acid or base is. The details about it you will study in your higher classes. Students note that while making the aqueous solution of acids and bases generates lot of heat as these reactions are highly exothermic. Students, these mean dangerous reactions, it is reminded to take due care of all safety measures while performing the experiments. Now let us do our experiment. Take 10 ml water in a beaker and add a few drops of concentrated sulfuric acid to it and swirl the beaker slowly. Touch the base of the beaker. Is there a change in temperature? Yes, beaker has become extremely hot. So what can you say about the nature of reaction? Is this an exothermic or an endothermic reaction? Yes, absolutely. There is an exothermic process as there is release of heat due to which beaker becomes hot. Remember students, always add acid or base to water, not water to acid or base. 
because water is very good absorber of heat. Further, add acids or bases slowly with constant swirling. Do you know students what happens to the solution when we keep on increasing the water content of acid or base solution? It results in decrease in the concentration of ions per unit volume relative to its previous solution. Such a process is called dilution and the acid or base solution is said to be diluted. In terms of water, dilute acids or bases have more amount of water, while concentrated acids or bases have less amount of water.